Much anticipated. Wow. Very beautiful. Oh, well, God. coming out from nowhere, please have a seat. Elliot, it's right. wonderful it having you here. There was no elegant. No elegant. It's so it's elegant name. often now. Elegant. Right? It's just one name. It's always just been one name. It's elegant, it's Miss Elegant or Elegant. Okay, would you like to sit down or do you want to so stand? I like when I was with Stern and Dr. Howard. Okay, just get, you want to pull the microphone up a little bit so we yeah, could hear you? I, we always stand. Okay. Yeah, but I just make sure you pull it up closer yeah, to you so we can hear you. Jess, you want to help? Yeah, come here. You want headphones or you're good? No, I don't need headphones. Okay. We're just talking to the mic, and let's yeah. just raise it. This is high as it goes, so you got to be close to the mic. Yeah, come, come on closer. There you go. We got to talk Don't down. be afraid. But we're, we're uh, very excited Elegantes to have you. Everybody, afraid. I'm going to give you a Elegantes little teaser on that, and that's that. Right, exactly. So, uh, what's going on? How have you been? I'm so excited you're here. Well, thank you, uh, Steve. Uh, listen, you know, usually we do it the other way. I was wondering if we can do it the reverse. Before I started the things talk, to talk about, I wanted to give the reverse. Sure. Can, can I do a few quick testimonials? Absolutely. You can oh, do whatever you want. Thank you. You're wonderful. You're the queen of the Upper East Side. Just stay close to the mic. Yeah. I'm saying you said it five times. I'm on the mic. All right. Okay. So, um, testimonials go as follows. Um, to a special treasured friend of mine, Rabbi Shalom D. Lipskar and Rabbi Benzian Krasniansky from the Kabbat of the Upper East Side, they help to change my life all around. Um, two dear friends who have been supporting me for years and years, and right at my side, right in my pocket, a dear friend of mine, attorney Howard Sokol and Ethan Stein. And this gentleman over here, who's my boss, my manager, my agent, Mr. Vernon, Sorry. Thank, you, thank you. My boss, my agent, my treasured friend who was taken out of his bank account, his, his own personal money, a half a million dollars, $500,000 wow. to furnish Elegante's lavish lifestyle and put me back onto radio and television. My profound thanks for all of them. And also a nice shout out to Howard Stern. Howard, thank you. We always love you. Um, if it wasn't for you originally, my name, the name of Elegant, Elegante, Miss Elegante, Miss Elegant, would not be nationwide all over America and now ready to go all over the world. Thank you, Howard. Good luck to you. Sincere, the best sincerity of my, my best and sincere intentions and thoughts to you and wishes to you always. That's okay. nice for you to say, yeah. because you guys had a little... Uh, no, we didn't. Name. We never did. It was only with the other girl. With not, not I and Stern. Okay. In any event, um, so I thought I would segue into this uh, uh, wonderful show. Segway into this wonderful show with um, one or two things. I want to leave that to my boss, because he, he kind of guides me. Boss, um, there was a, a very serious situation that happened in Midtown East regarding recently, regarding a uh, hate crime very serious situation, and then there, there's, there's something very also very important for the world to know. Um, people are always beefing and complaining and bitching about health, Talking about, about health, about health, uh, especially men's health, ma male reproductive system, and I'm going to offer all the panel over here some information, and then I'm going to dare them, I'm going to defy them to go to the best urologist in America, in New York City, and to authenticate the authenticity. I, I, I could use a urologist, so okay. would you please help me. Right, okay, well everything that I'm going to tell you, you'll be able to to verify and substantiate awesome. and corroborate to be MS, kosher, on the money. What are we doing first, boss? This is Vernon. Should we make the big announcement now? What's the big, make we the have a big, big announcement. announcement. I didn't know. Yeah. Wait, let, you want we get a the, drum roll or something going on here? Right. Don't leave, okay. don't leave. The big, the, the, the 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 big announcement the is all of you fans out there who have been wondering, how can I get in touch with Elegant? We are announcing today the launch of Elegance World. Wow. Elegantsworld.com. Elegance platform. And you can find Elegant on Instagram, on YouTube, and on Facebook. And join us at Elegance World. Wow, there you go. Right, That's amazing. Are you excited? Uh, over overwhelmed. Overwhelmed with what, joy what, and happiness. What can we find on Elegance World? What's there? Well, that's they're, 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 they're the people. They're the money people. I'm only the show. So what? <laughs> yeah. what they're the money people. So tell tell them what you're going to find, uh, 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 boss. Elegance World is a membership site. You okay. become an elegant enthusiast. Nice, I like that. And as an elegant enthusiast, you get Elegance Optimum Health Letter. Okay. You get a free Gangsta Talk T-shirt. Okay. And you have the opportunity for limited one-on-one -on -one consultation with Elegant Whoa. about the optimum health and peak physical, physical performance well, I, lifestyle. Yeah, you are in amazing shape. You always have been.
Thank you. And other goodies, other goodies will come as we roll. Okay, so we're going to find out more about that as we as things unroll. But what what have you been up to? You obviously well, you're always in good shape. You're well, always running. It's it's not good shape. It's it's phenomenal shape. It's profound physical fitness. It's optimum health. It's pristine physical condition. Uh, Stern on the first show, Howard, in the first show I ever did, and I entertained How him. How did for Howard meet you? And I, and, well, I made, I, and I and I remember the first day I, you came on. And I entertained him for nine years. Stern, the first show, said elegant. Walk off slow so we can look at your fine ass. You know, I'm a straight, I'm a straight man, and right. I will say you have a nice ass. No, no, not nice. Beyond definition. And the cuts in the legs, the cuts on the legs, the, the symmetry that every girl in the world wants. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And in, in any event, yeah. So uh, to answer um, his question, so I was doing high caliber running in like zero degree weather, the same way G-string lingerie, and yeah. they, they have a, a Howard Stern van or a Howard Stern truck or something. And they came up to me one night, and it was either Casey Armstrong or somebody was in the train. They said to me, Elegant, Howard uh, heard about you. He thinks you're um, fascinating. Would you come up to the show for uh, one appearance? When was this? Um, Probably 94. No, it was not 94. It was no. like 98 or 99 or whatever. Okay, sure. In any event, um, so I came up that one time. It was a love affair. He wouldn't let me go. He called me every time I entertained him for nine years in a row. Urologist, Steve? Yeah, sure. Okay, Steve, what I'm about to tell you is axiomatic. Yeah. De facto, go to any doc go to any doctor in America yeah. or in New York City yeah. in the high in a high price New York City, you'll get the same information back. So we're gonna try to help you. Okay. But first of all, so men for, for over 40, 50, and 60 are complaining. Uh, enlarged prostate, B yeah. B9. It's very it's very, very serious uh, topic. B9, prostatic hyperplasia. Okay. okay. So the first thing they do, right? They go in to their urologist, and the urologist says, we're going to do the silver, gold, and platinum standing. We're going to standard. We're going to do the TURP. That's T-U-R-P. It's a transurethal resection of the prostate with a 12-inch bloody instrument. It's going to be bloody. A, res a resectoscope. Oh, what the hell is that? A doesn't sound nice. No, with a, re a resectoscope with a wire loop to take the excess prostate material so it doesn't engulf the urethra and stop the urination you don't, anymore. My, you, my you don't want to engulf the ure urethra. That's my really... voice is going up a notch. Yeah, <laughs> that, 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 that's better. <laughs> Got to take okay, care of that but, urethra. But, but then, when that procedure will, God forbid, fail... And the situation will go on. So people are running right away and they're saying, well, maybe we should just take out the whole prostate gland so we can urinate. We can have a better sex life. We don't have to be in discomfort. So that might th seem to be a way to go until you go home to your wife after what is called as a radical prostatectomy. Jesus. When you, when you come back to your wife, your wife... And by the way, after that radical prostatectomy, you'll be urinating like a newborn baby. But your wife will want to choke you, like in Jekyll and Hyde, he want to choke you, because you're going to leave your wife with a DV. I didn't say VD. No, hopefully I said, not. I said DV. That's a dry vagina. Oh. No, no more sperm. No I, more semen. No more orgasm on a radical prostatectomy. I don't want to know DV, man. Now my, so, now my, now my voice I, is going lower. I, 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 I like a wet V. So... so um, WVs are so right. if we want to be able to have a virile sex life yes, and to sir. be able not sir girl transsexual and to be able to have urinary functions without having to go to the bathroom every thirty minutes or without having stoppage or blockage, so after in a little while I'll give the panel a couple of tips of what they can do so that they just have energy to burn like elegante optimum health no illness no sickness no ailment. Nothing. No diabetes, no heart disease, no cancer, no bronchitis, no arthritis, no diverticulitis, optimum health every day of your life. Now listen. I need optimum health very bad. Uh, gentlemen, I'm about, I'm approaching 70 years of age. You don't look I'm it. Wow. No, 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 not I don't look. I look like 50 and 45. Yeah, Get you it do. Right. Get it right. Absolutely. Don't I, girl? 40. <laughs> 40. And th th now, now this you is look amazing. We should have got a mic. We got to have you on mic there, pal. It's just so beautiful. And, and, there, you and, just and there's a voluptuous. A and, there's, and there's coming from a voluptuous young lady in the office right uh, can, here. Can, can I ask you a question? Now, now well, yeah. with all the things that have been going on now uh, in, in the world that's been changing, uh, 
it, it trans everything is sort of very, much more acceptable than it was, say, 20 years ago. Is, it, is that something that you're proud of, that you stood by, that you're like an icon for trans people all yes, over the place? Yes, transgenders and transsexuals, yes. It's not easy for you guys. I, well, no, at least 20 years no, ago. It's a lot easier uh, now. Steve, you want to stop with the guys? It's girl. It's girl. Yeah, you're yeah. right, girl. Is that the reason why you took... Elliot out of your name. There is no, there is no, I was, it was, oh, it you was were elegant, it's been, Elliot it, hello, often. it's been elegant alone. When you're on Stern for nine years, like Madonna and Cher, it's the one name people. Elegant. Right? It's the one name people. Right. You got it. It's the one name people, right? Right, right. Have you, you guys know Elliot a long time? Not, you, not uh, Elliot. Yeah. Not Elliot. Oh, it's your uh, Elliot. Sorry. <laughs> you know me. I, me I, 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 have, I have ADD, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> Yeah, Miss well, Elegante, you got that you, right. Th thank so, you. so what is your message to uh, the transgender world out there in terms of acceptability? You're here, you know, in good standing, and you're promoting something like that. So what do you say to the people out there that don't understand this world? I, 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 first of all, what's your name, sir? Jesse. Jesse, I never said... Um, See, one word, uh, one name. Jesse, I never said, <laughs> Jesse, Jesse, that I came up here to uh, give any... Oh, no, uh, I, never, so, I never insinuate oh, you came up oh. here for any particular reason. But, I, but because you represent that world, I think that here's a chance to get people to understand that world, and you can, you're such a great speaker. Give us a well, little education. That, well, thank you. Well, what you. I think what you're trying to say, Jesse, is that Elegante is a cogent, fervent, dramatic, dynamic, didactic, professional speaker. Yeah, I think that's the what you're trying right to say. the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> exactly. yeah. I like exactly. didn't didactic. Didactic yeah. Don't good. ask exactly. me to repeat myself, <laughs> goddammit. All right, Jesse. I know you'll never be able to do it in a, th in a thousand years. A thousand? Um, so, uh, probably in a million years. Um, so, um, uh, to, in any event, the message that Jesse is asking for, I'll be happy to give it quick, short, sweet, brisk, and crisp right between the eyes. Gangster style. Yeah. Um, so, well, my uh, name is Jesse. All right, Jesse. <laughs> Super OG. All right, all right Jesse. So, Jesse. They, right. So, what we're gonna, so what we're going to say is that any, for any of the transgenders, transsexuals, etc., um, conduct your life and carry your life. Uh, conduct yourself and carry your life in a fearless, dauntless way. Fear of nothing. Have a mindset that if you believe in what you're doing, you're going through the whole world. You're going through the world to get what you want and go where you want, and nobody but God in heaven can prevent it or stop it or prohibit it. And what happens when people reject that notion? How do you defend yourself? Well, I, I have plenty of ways how I defend myself. I've watched a few of them. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I have plenty of ways how no I... No jumping out of cabs? Um, right. But <laughs> by the way, talking about... Tuck and roll. Hell, talking about that just for a moment. Let's yeah. segue to that. Yeah. This is something very interesting. Okay. So, um, I, you know, I do my high caliber, high powered, high magnitude, high voltage running in Midtown East and the Upper how many, East Side. How many miles do you do a day? Oh, it's not too many anymore. About seven or eight miles a day. A day? A, Jeez, that's right. That's a, Every day? I don't walk that a week. <laughs> Thank you. And again, uh, thanks for that wonderful comment from this very sexy, sultry, and sensuous looking girl. Oh, this is You're Olivia. Not this is on, the, on the guest. I love yeah. you. I love uh, you. Uh, 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 Olivia's here. She's promoting, she has Lyme disease. She's promoting the Lyme disease. Uh, awareness. Okay. Um, so in any event, um, I'll just do this one here. I want to mention okay. this quick. So I'm finishing up a run just about eight months ago, but it's still it's still relevant to today. And this is this will carry this will capture the um the eyes of everybody because you asked about that. Finishing up uh, the and taxi. I'm, no, that's years ago, Jesse. Okay. You're, you're slow today, Jess. <laughs> <laughs> you're slow today, Jess. Okay. Jess, you're slow. I'm bad. Okay. <laughs> Jess, so let, I get through. Let her talk. I get, I get through, and um, but I got to ask my boy, just, just, just one, give me one second. Boss, um, to authenticate the authenticity, the reality of what I'm saying, um, but everybody knows I'm a person of impeccable integrity, unimpeachable credibility, and complete veracity. But even that being said, boss, um, is it all right with you that if I mention the name of the shop and the, the person, the violator of what he did to me, um, is it all right if I mention that and of what uh, happened then afterwards? Uh, for location purposes, yes. No names. Oh, for location. And the address of the, of the, of the building, too? Address, okay, no names. Okay. No, no names. Okay, so, all right. Protect so the guilty and the the word violate, what happened? Okay, so, I'm um, Jesse, I'm coming to it. So, <laughs> I'm done at um, the run, and um, I'm doing my sachet walk back. I'm checking my body out in all the business windows. I want to see how sexy and sultry and hot and seductive I look. And um, 
So I passed this business. It's at 1109 First Avenue. As sure as I'm alive and breathing, right? 1109 First Avenue. It's between 60th and 61st Street on, okay, the, west, sure. on the west side of First Avenue. And um, all of a sudden, a guy comes out, and he says to me, to Elegant, verbatim, you know, you're disgusting. What? We have a people in here in a restaurant trying to eat their dinner, and you're with your bottom hanging out, yeah, yeah, your pride hanging out. Um, this is, this is, we're trying to eat. People don't want this. So I said to the guy, I'm not mentioning his name. We know his name. Was he famous? The guy's a restaurant, a restaurant tour, that's all. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So I said to him, look, this is my inalienable, improscriptable, inviolable, inviolable impermeable, impenetrable, First Amendment right to be on a public sidewalk in G-string lingerie anywhere, anytime, anywhere in America. So with that, he said, not here. I said, well, Whoa. I said, well, I'm going to be here, God R willing, for the, for the next 180 years. Yeah, you probably <laughs> will. <laughs> he, go he goes, thank you. Thank you, Steve. Yes. He goes back into a store. And what I'm about to tell you is horrifying. But but just as sure as the Achilles tendon connects the gastrocnemius muscle to the calcaneus bone in the foot. You that's got a, some vocabulary. I going to have to call that's, you Dr. That, that's Elegant. a physiological certainty. Just how sure it is to that same degree of accuracy, he takes a bucket of water and he throws it on me. Oh, no way. Oh, no. He that did. wrong move. He did. So what not did you do? So, what did you, how so did you retaliate? Said, so, thank you, Jesse. So I said to him, you know, 30 years ago, I would have did something a little bit different to you, I, but, I, but, I, but I, I don't do those things anymore. I said to him, just like that, I don't do those things anymore. But I see you want some action, right? Oh, boy, yeah. That's... So I'll see you in about 24 hours from now. Yeah. Um, 24 hours later, My... 24 hours later, more or less, give or take an hour or so, I pull up in a big black car. And I come out of the car first. We're right by, like, close to 60, 60th and 1st Avenue. And I tell my people in the car, just wait here. I want to see if... This troglodyte, if this bedlamite, <laughs> if this lugaru, if this werewolf, if this septic tank scum cesspool of the earth is still there. Yeah. So I identify him and he's there. I give my, 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 my people the sign. They come out of the car. One on each side of him. Yeah. Uh, they say to the guy, I don't want to mention his name, uh, what's your beef? Got a problem? This is our dear friend, uh, Miss Elegant. What's up? Um, and a guy says to my people, um, well, you know, uh, we're trying to run a business. <sighs> and now he's a little gasping. Hamina, hamina, hamina. He's, he's ga um, gasping. He's got, he's got, he's got. He's nervous. He's, yeah. better, but, he's, okay, he's now, Jackie Gleason nervous. So <laughs> now, <laughs> and with that, so with that, um, um, my people say to him, well, you know, Miss Elegant is on a public sidewalk. You know about that. So a guy, well, and with that, all of a sudden, without any more talk, they push his neck back like this. The guy has Whoa. a the guy has a finger like this steel. He almost broke the guy's neck. Just like that. And now while he's holding his neck back, he says to the guy, my my people says, watch the camera. Okay. Says um, that's just a warning. Yeah. If we got to come back here again, we're gonna take your business apart. I'm gonna take you apart. I'm going to leave you for dead right on the sidewalk on First Avenue in front of everybody. Yeah, you know what? You're like the Don of the transgender <laughs> mafia. <laughs> well, thank you. So in any event, that, that is... Now, afterwards, on the, all the days and weeks and months, every time the, the guy sees me, hello, Miss Elegant. He tips his hat. Yeah. Hello, Miss Elegant. I think he got the picture. You're no kidding. Crystal clear. Abundantly clear. Yeah. Diaphanously clear.